welcome friends namaskar now we are going to learn how to calculate coefficient of correlation through the formula by definition that means first we will have to calculate covariance between x and y standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y we have a sample data of x and y like this x takes value 4 6 11 3 16 summation is 40 and x bar the mean is 8 and the variable y takes value 50, 50, 40, 60, 30, summation is 230 and y bar or mean is 46. Now to calculate covariance, we should have x minus x bar, y minus y bar and summation of it. For that purpose, we first have to calculate x minus x bar or x minus 8 in this case. That is like this, 4 minus 8 minus 4, 6 minus 8 minus 2, 11 minus 8, 3, 3 minus 8 minus 5, 16 minus 8, 8. The positive value sum is 11, negative value sum is 11, total is 0. That means we can believe that all these values are correct. Otherwise, we cannot have the total 0. Because we know that the summation from arithmetic, the summation of the deviations from arithmetic mean is always 0 or rather it must be 0. Similarly, from y also we have subtracted the mean 46. 50 minus 46, 4, again 4, 40 minus 46, minus 6, 60 minus 46, 14, 30 minus 46, minus 16, and summation of positive values is 22, negative values 22, so grand total is 0, so this column can be treated as correct. Now, if these two columns are correct, then we can calculate x minus x bar into y minus y bar. And that will be minus 4 into 4, minus 16, minus 2 into 4, minus 8, 3 into minus 6, minus 18, minus 5 into 14, minus 70, and 8 into minus 16, minus 128. The remarkable thing is all products are negative. Obviously, the summation should also be negative. That is minus 240. From this column and value of n, say sample size, we can calculate the covariance. To calculate Standard deviation of x, we should have the column of x minus x bar whole square. Squared values of the deviations taken from mean. So, x minus x bar is here. Squared value will be minus 4 square 16, minus 2 square 4, 3 square 9, minus 5 square 25 and 8 square 64. Get the summation that will be 118. In the same way, to calculate the standard deviation of y, we should have the column y minus y bar whole square. Rather, squared values of the deviations taken from mean for variable y. y minus y bar, 4 square 16, again 4 square 16, minus 6 square 36, 14 square 196, and minus 16 square 256, and the summation comes to 520. Now, we have all raw materials to calculate covariance, standard deviation of x, and standard deviation of y. Okay, let us calculate them. Covariance of x, y will be sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar upon n minus 1 because this is a sample data. That will be minus 240 divided by 5 minus 1 minus 240 divided by 4. So, the covariance of x and y comes to minus 60. It comes to minus 60, so we can say that there is negative correlation between the two variables x and y. Now let us calculate, say, standard deviation of x. That is under root sigma x minus x bar, the whole square, divided by n minus 1. Again, the sample data, so we have to take n minus 1. Under root x minus x bar the whole square 118 5 minus 1 4 118 divided by 4 give us 29.5 square root of it give us approximately 5.43 we restrict up to two decimal places so sx is 5.43 in the same way we can calculate standard deviation of y that is under root sigma y minus y bar the whole square divided by again n minus 1 because this is sample data. The value of y minus y bar whole square is 520 divided by 5 minus 1 or 4 
520 divided by 4 gives us 130 and its square root gives us approximately 11.40. So y comes to 11.4. Now we have all the three things covariance of x, y, standard deviation of x, and standard deviation of y. So now we are in a position to calculate the coefficient of correlation, or more precisely, the Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation through the formula by definition. That is, coefficient of correlation is the ratio of covariance of the two variables to the product of the two standard deviations that means we have something like this minus 60 upon 5.43 into 11.40 yes let us multiply this two that will be 61.902 Mark, the denominator can never be negative because standard deviations are the positive square roots. By definition, standard deviation is positive square root of so and so. So, standard deviation is always positive. That means, in case of calculation of coefficient of correlation, the denominator can never be negative. So, the sign of the coefficient of correlation is always dependent on the numerator. Numerator is dependent on covariance that can be positive or negative and ultimately that will be the sign of the coefficient of correlation. So, ultimately we obtain the coefficient of correlation as 0.969. So, this is the calculation of coefficient of correlation by the say formula by definition now in this particular case i would like to add one more thing a scatter diagram of this data uh, x is taken as independent variable on horizontal axis and y is taken as dependent variable on vertical axis that we already know let us try to draw the scatter diagram Uh, on x-axis it is advisable to take a scale of 2 and on y we are going to take scale of 10. and 16 uh, we need 3 here and we need 11 here because we have two word values on y axis it is somewhat easy 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay now uh, we will have to consider the pair or coordinates first value of x is 4 and y is 50 4 and 50 approximately it can be here Another is 6 and 50. 6 and 50. Now the third is 11 and 40. 11 and 40. Approximately here. 3 and 60. 3 and 60. 3 and 60 somewhere here and the last is 16 and 30 16 and 30 now just observe the scatter diagram we on the basis of the observation we can arrive at the conclusion first of all are all the sample points on a straight line no all the sample points are not on a straight line this creates something like disturbance so we can say that all the sample points are not on a straight line but they are around a straight line. We can imagine a straight line within this. That means there is no perfect relationship. So we can say that there is partial relationship. What is the direction of the line if we imagine? See the line, if we imagine a line that goes from upper left to lower right. Upper left to lower right means negative relationship. 
so there are two conclusions partial relationship and negative relationship so we can that there is partially negative correlation between x and y in this particular case partially means less than one or less than minus one so greater than minus one and less than plus one partial c negative relationship answer is not exactly one so partially negative correlation is there Negativity is also reflected in covariance. It is minus 60. So on the basis of covariance, we had concluded that there is negative relationship. Okay. So we can verify the conclusions of scatter diagram as well as covariance by the coefficient of correlation to this is everything for study of correlation between the two variables. We use the formula by definition in the Another coming say lectures or cases we will be using other formula to thank you.